Okay, Alexa, stop music. Hi, welcome back, dreamers. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, copy. Set. Santa mode. Activated. He's a daddy now. Let's do this. Hi, welcome back, dreamers. Today is Christmas morning. It's the 25th. You better work, bitch. Um, I have some gifts in front of me that I do want to unwrap, just like last year. Um, I definitely feel like we're gonna make this a tradition as long as I'm lonely. Even if I'm not, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I feel like a mom and like I'm filming stuff. So we're gonna, we're gonna open some stuff. I'm very excited. There's some big boxes here. And I specifically told people not to get me big shit because I cannot fit anything in my apartment. So I'm interested to know if there are multiple things in this, this, this package is huge. Y'all are gonna see it. This package is big as fuck for no reason, hopefully. We're gonna start, actually, we're gonna start here with the gift that I bought myself. Because I'm in COVID Christmas and lockdown, there is a book that I've been dying to read for the longest time and I finally was like, you know what, fuck it. We should get it so I can read it and I'm gonna finish it before my quarantine is up in four days, four days. But I bought the subtle art of not giving a fuck, which if you don't know what it is, uh, you're living under a rock. Um, but this book is, I'm on chapter three of nine so far. And I mean, I'm just highlighting, I've never highlighted a book before, but I was like, this is gonna be fun. But like, here's, a, here's just a small quote. Don't hope for a life without problems. There's no such thing. Instead, hope for a life full of good problems. Living. You know what I mean? Like, maturity is what happens when one learns to only give a fuck about what's truly fuckworthy. Incredible, iconic. So I bought this for myself. I bought myself another Christmas gift um, that was supposed to be here yesterday, but it rerouted for some weird reason. And so it's not here, but it is a very cute MCE Creations. I'll put the link down in, in the description. Um, to MCE's website, as well as the place to get the subtle art of not giving a fuck. You can just go to Amazon if you would like. For Jeff Bezos, or there are plenty of places where you can get from a book store, like a local bookstore, and they'll deliver it to you regardless, and it doesn't go to uh, Bezos. MCE Creations is a queer, black-owned uh, company, a uh, small business. And I don't really wanna say small because I feel like they've grown a lot, but they, you know, they're still underrepresented in um, the world. Um, but MC Creations creates bodysuits. Um, I mean, they are known for their underwear and um, mostly, yeah, mostly their underwear, their fun thongs and jock straps and things like that. As well as actually one of the items that I bought, they are also really no well known for their shorts. And so I bought, I think it's five inches, maybe it's three inches, uh, inseam, like gym shorts, you know, summer shorts, whatever, but they're rainbow, I love them. And like, it's subtle rainbow, it's not like, ah, oh, here's rainbow. Um, so I love it, which there's nothing wrong with that, but I just, I like the subtlety of it, it's cute. And like, in the gym where it's like, I'm gay. Not everybody has to know it, but if you're looking at me, you definitely know it. Um, Cause I needed a pair of shorts for people to know that. Oh, uh, excuse me. And then my favorite thing that I bought, I saw it and died and I was like, I need this. Um, I bought a muscle tank that says, call me daddy on it. And no, we're not referring to the podcast at all. I just think it's really fucking funny because like pe some people have called me that, which it's like hot. But here's the thing. I love that this is where we're going. Because uh, uh, I'm 21, right? So people shouldn't be calling me daddy, but I think it's really fucking funny when they do. And it's kind of, I mean, it's hot to me. Like, okay, I'll be daddy. Like, all right. Um, and it's like people that are older than me too. Like, not that like daddy has an age on it, but like, let's be real. You know what I mean? So it, whatever. But uh, I got me a muscle tank that says call me daddy and I'm wearing the combo to the gym. I'm so excited. Like the day after my quarantine, I'm going straight to the gym and I'm going to be wearing that outfit. Okay. The next thing I don't even need to open right now, um, actually I'm going to open it, not on camera, but like obviously off camera so I can place it somewhere. Um, but it was the one gift that came without a, I gotta be careful about my address. Um, 
it's the one thing that came without like special surprise gift wrapping. And so I did ask for a waffle maker and they delivered, you know? Um, it looks like it's gonna make good ass waffles. It looks like it's oyster, oyster, whatever the fuck. But I know this brand, you know, they're in a lot of hotels, so it should be, should be good on that end. I am sad that I do not have waffle mix right now in quarantine. I really did not think this through. Also, I mean, I did think I was gonna be positive, but also half of me did it. Half of me wants to open the card last. I'm gonna open the card last. I was gonna open it first, but some something is telling me open it last. Um, okay, again with the address. I like that this isn't a brown paper bag. Like, this is interesting to me. I feel like I haven't seen Amazon ever put something in the bag like this. So I'm curious to know. Oh my god. What is this? Oh, you better work. I needed this so bad. I forgot I asked for this. This is really hard to find in New York, especially around this time, like in the summer. Like, and I wasn't here in the summer and I didn't think about it in Denver. But in the winter, you cannot find thermals whatsoever in the state of New York. Um, and so I'm really happy to, I probably need to wash it. Well, you should wash all your clothes if you get them for Christmas regardless, but I'm very happy to have thermals, especially pants. Like I bought a thermal shirt. They ha oddly enough, they have like some slim connections out of thermal sh shirts. Um, so I bought one that was like cotton material from Old Navy that I like as a regular shirt, but also as a thermal shirt. And I've worn it a couple times as both. Um, but that one is like white tan beige, bit white tan beige-ish. Um, so I'm glad to have like a, a black set because, and again, I don't have pants, so I'm very excited about that. Um, I'm just gonna go, I think from small to large, just because like these things are heavy. Like this package is heavy. And like, I don't want to like smash it down because I don't know what's in it, but okay, I lost the knife on there, so that's okay. But like, yeah, that's not fun. Is the address on the side? Okay. Also, yes, I did bring a knife with me instead of scissors just because like, I don't know, I feel like it's easier. If this is another kitchen item, I have no more room in my kitchen. Oh my God, is this? You're joking. That's hilarious. Wait. Also, why is it so thick? This thing was so heavy. You guys, it's literally a giant thing of Krusty's Belgian waffle mix. This thing is so heavy. How many pounds is this? It's a five pound bag of waffle mix. Wait, I'm kind of glad I didn't make, I'm kind of glad I didn't make that thing this morning. I definitely want to make it. I'll probably make it for dinner, but I kind of want to have some waffles now. <gasps> I'm excited. Okay, yay, I get to try this. Excited. Next up, a bigger box, yet a lot less heavy. So something that's less than something that's less than five pounds. Okay. Careful of the address. Oh, there's some. I think there's a couple things in here. I don't know. It's cute. It's got like this bag in it. Keep your gift a surprise. Unwrap your present before opening this envelope. That's probably like a receipt, I guess, unless you want to give it back. Oh my God, if this is what it is, I'm gonna cry. I have been, oh, you guys, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay, this was the number one thing on my list. Could I have bought it myself? Yes. Did I let somebody else buy it for me? Yes. Um, if anybody knows me, I have been dying to make music. I have written a lot of songs. Blah, 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 blah. I have a piano over there. It's really hard to, I mean, you have to have a USB from your computer to the, there's a lot of technicalities that go around it, but that wasn't enough. I needed one of these to really fucking, oh my God, I want to open it. I'm so excited. I'm going to finally produce music. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. So it's, um, it's, what is it? My die? That's what I think it's called. USB my die controller keyboard. So this is hooked up by USB to your computer so that way it just transitions, I'll have to read the instructions, transitions from what you play onto the computer. So, you know, you don't have to 
fuck around with like the instruments that are on like GarageBand or whatever you're using and that stuff is sometimes hard and like definitely you're gonna need some of it but like now it's easy you can hook up stuff you can play the pads I feel like I'm gonna be like um, Anna Kendrick in that one scene where she plays the Christmas song yeah that's gonna be me that's gonna be me I'm so this one I'm gonna play with that all day all day I'm so excited I have this one song I have this one song where I'm like uh oh, so excited about yeah, it's just like a gift receipt or whatever. Um, okay. Next up. Next up. Honestly, the rest I like don't even remember. What? What is this? <gasps> I'm so excited. I am so excited. Get jiggy with it. Um. Yes, bitch. I'm glad that I didn't finish this other video now because now I can finish it with like completed stuff. Um, I asked for storage cubes for my closet. If you're gonna watch the video, I have a closet video tour slash reorganization video coming. It really wasn't gonna be complete without storage cubes because it still looks, it looks better for sure if you see the beginning to now. This is gonna complete it. I needed storage cubes 1000%. Very excited, very shocked that that fit in that box. Um, for once. Okay, this box is fine because I don't want to freak anybody out, but it is ripped slightly. I don't even need a knife, I guess. I'll just use my hands. But I have no idea what this is. I'm going to turn it this way so the address doesn't pop up. Da -da -da -da. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. It says something about batteries on the side, I think. Maybe? What is. Work. Work. Listen, as an adult. <laughs> Ask for things that you need, not necessarily that you want, but in this case, I wanted it. I wanted it and needed it at the same time, I swear to God. Um, I'm a bitch that will be stubborn and not pay for something for the longest time, uh, up until the last minute where I'm like, I can't do this anymore. And I was getting to that point, but I was like, this is the last bit. If, if this doesn't come, I'm not, I, I'll, I'll go out and buy it myself. It's a tool set. I am 21 years old. I am excited about a tool set. I don't know if it's just a drill, because I did ask for a drill. I don't know if it's all of the above. <gasps> My OCD happy heart. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. This is so cool. Shut up. So there's a drill in here. There's, this is the biggest toolbox ever. I'm so happy. I'm also kind of glad that it's red. Um, I was gonna get the pink one on Amazon if I did it, but I feel like this is definitely more professional, but like red is my color for right now. I definitely think I'm switching up my favorite color, but I still love red regardless. It's got everything. Screwdrivers, I can put those on my, gagged, gooped. I'm so excited. All of the things that just appeared in my head, mainly because I need to get this whiteboard up somewhere. I'm gonna probably put it above my, uh, above my piano, but this whiteboard is just sitting on my couch for a couple days now, and now I get to just put it up. I'm so excited. What is this? Who is she? PVC tape for electrical stuff. Work. I don't know what half of this is. She's, she's queer, but okay. I don't, is this like a charger for the, the drill? I don't know what this is. Am I gonna die if I hit this button? Maybe? Oh my God, I don't know what's going on. What is this? It's gotta be some like, this is gonna sound stupid, but it, that's what I feel like it is. A backup generator? I don't know if that sounds stupid, like a small, oh, I think it connects to something else. Okay, I'm gonna stop fucking around with this. We still have a gift and a, a, a letter to open, but, Low key, high key, high key, very grateful for this one because bitch, she got projects to do. She got projects. Um, okay, this is the one I was talking about. Why is it so big? What did I ask for? The only thing I can think of, and I feel like I was lied to. Oh, you know what? Lies. I guarantee you, there were two things that I asked for that could be in this box. If not both, I don't think it is. But 
I asked for my, okay, I have a refrigerator that does not make ice. I have to like do the ice cube trays and like low key annoying. I asked for an ice cube machine for Christmas. That's what my niece and my sister said. They're like, do you want one? And I was like, sure. Think it, but then I told them, I said, if it can't fit, because they saw my kitchen while they were here, I was like, if it can't fit, don't bring it. And she was like, no, Joy has one, because like my niece, know, Joy, loves ice. She was like, it's like the Chick-fil-A ice, and it makes, um, like it's a very small space, like a Keurig, like the one I have. And I was like, okay, if that's the case, get me one. But the other thing I asked for that was like top of my list, I put my top one and two on my list. Number one was this electric, um, keyboard producing thing. The other one is because, and you can even hear it now, which I'm glad that you can, and it is because I'm sick, and like I don't sound like this normally, however, because I'm constantly battling between my radiator killing me with the heat and my window open that doesn't have a bug screen and all of this mess, I asked for a uh, air humidifier because the air here Kinda sucks. So, let's see if I'm correct on either. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. I could have just explained all of that for nothing. Okay. Okay, wait, I need this a little bit. Okay. Do not try this at home. It could be multiple things. I don't know. Is it? No, it says handle with care. Oh my god, there's literally so much extra space in here. Okay, there's like a smaller box in here, so... And I'm telling you, when I say this... This is heavy. I think it's an air humidifier. Don't freak out for me. None of these addresses on the side are mine. So, we're gooch. We're gooch. In fact, one of the addresses is from Aurora, Colorado, which if you don't know, go check out my videos. But I just moved from there two months as of tomorrow. Um, I moved from Denver, but I was in Aurora a lot. I mean, it's right next to Denver, so it might as well be in the same place. Oh, God. Um, so. Okay, what is going on? I feel like I'm being gooped. I feel like I'm being gooped. There's a literal another box in here. I mean, at least it's gonna fit in my apartment, whatever it is. Oh my God! Oh, please don't drop it. Oh, I just got nervous. Okay, what is this thing? Oh my god, okay, I was definitely lied to. This is bigger than a Keurig. What the fuck? What? Hold on, hold on. So it's an ice maker. I mean, it looks very beneficial, and I'm not gonna even lie, I'm not mad about it because I have been getting pissed. And I, you know one of those things where it's like, if you can fix it, you might as well. And like, the micro, not microaggressions, that's not the word to use. I was just getting like, it was like pissing me off, like having to do it and like I just didn't want to do it and so like for this to make its own ice, I'm very fucking happy. I'm not going to pull this out, this looks like a lot of pieces, but it does look a lot smaller. There's like a lot of room in here for just the, whatever, the peanut packing stuff. So I think we'll be okay. I think it'll fit on my counter, Ho hopefully. It'll have to, I don't know where else it's going. I'll just store the waffle maker and bring it out when I need it. Anyways, this is the last gift. Here we are. Um, cool. Then I'll probably end up buying myself an air humidifier because it still sucks. Um, it smells so good in here. I have a candle burning behind the camera. Living, thriving. Again, I have to do this face down. Okay, wait. Okay, sure. Okay, what is with... I tell people every single day, every single year, every hookup that I have, I tell them I don't like sticky things. And like, I'm okay with it, but I have to wash it off. You know what I'm talking about? Maybe you don't. But like, glitter is one of those things. I, and it's all over my finger now. I don't like glitter. What is up with that? Now, this part, I may or may not put in. I'll probably just put in the parts that are not written, handwritten, so it says, wishing you everything bright and sparkly. Um, and then, uh, there's, uh, listen, bitch, I have not yet bought myself a lottery ticket since the time I turned 18 to now, like, literally at all. Um, there's also some cash in here, I don't, I don't need to show that, which 
put that there. Um, and then there's some words in here, of course, but I will read this off camera. Um, but I'm gonna get a thing and we're gonna, we're gonna scratch this off. I can't even think, I can't even think. Let us scratch, yes, I'm using a box because I don't want all that gross stuff on the thing. I swear to God, manifest positive vibes in 2022. I want to earn my first six figure number. I always said by 20, tw uh, by the time I turned 22, I wanted to earn my first seven figure number. But we're going to start at a reasonable amount. So here's hoping for that six figure number. I hope you're having a Merry Christmas. I hope you're feeling okay. I hope you're feeling not too lonely. If you don't celebrate also, that's fine. Um, a Merry Saturday to you and I hope you have a fun time having a national holiday, a federal holiday. Hopefully you're off today because if you're working today, that's stupid. I don't care if you're Jewish, if you celebrate Kwanzaa, if you don't celebrate at all, you should still have the day off. Um, and I think it's a testament to people who are in quarantine right now that like nobody's fucking, nobody should be going fucking anywhere anyway. So hopefully you're chilling just like me. Maybe you have your own lottery card to open. Oh my God, I thought that was a matching number. I got so excited. Um, okay, is that it? It was just three rows, what the fuck? <gasps> nah, bitch, what is that? Oh, I thought I found a secret number. Okay, now I gotta look this over. 12. Not a single number. Always very fucking close, but not a single one. It's okay, it's the Florida lottery. I don't really feel like anybody wins in Florida, so yeah. Um, okay, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I need to figure out how to get this garbage from here, literally outside the window where you're hearing some noises come from. Um, so that's exciting. And I'm gonna go play with a bunch of toys, adult toys. No, not those kinds of adult toys, adult things. And I'm very excited about it. <laughs> I'm very excited about it. Very, very, very excited about it. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you so much. Um, remember, it all starts with an idea. Um, look out for fucking music. It's happening. It is fucking happening. I'm so excited. Hey, no, okay, dream big. For real. Okay, sentimental message. It is Christmas. If you are alone, that is okay. That I think this is what I was trying to finish. So a little speech. If you are alone on Christmas, it's okay. Set up a mood for yourself. Set up a vibe. Set up something that makes you feel happy inside. Do something that makes you feel happy inside. Read a book watch a movie, get, drink some coffee, uh, whatever it may be, whatever it may be, you are the one that can make yourself happy. And so I myself am very happy right now. I hope you are too. And truly dream big. Don't make your dreams small. Don't, you know, make yourself goals. Don't ever tell yourself that something is impossible. Don't let the world tell you something is impossible. It is not. It is not. There are people in the position that you want to be in because they pushed and they tried and you can do even better than them um, if you so choose to be. Um, there's always room for improvement. There's always room for learning. There's always room in the spaces that you want to be in wherever that may be. I love you. Remember, it all starts with an idea. Dream big, Merry Crisis!